Well, hello, my creative friend. And in this video, I would love to invite you to join my sketch tour in Europe. So this one was in Paris. It was a four-day sketch tour. It was dedicated to urban sketching with watercolor and with markers. So if you're excited to learn more about it, please continue watching this video. So the very first day of the sketch tour, we met in an amazing park. It was April in Paris, everything was in blossom. And the main topic for that day was understanding proportions, golden section and drawing an elevation view. That's what we call an elevation view. Uh, it was an architectural detail, facade of a building. First, I did a demonstration and then participants of my sketch tour, they started their own drawings. So here we understood composition, we understood proportions and it was really exciting to see how even beginners in urban sketching achieved great results after even first day of the tour. So for lunch break, we visited a an amazing restaurant uh, it was the grill room so we had a nice lunch and then we continued drawing so the girls uh, the participants they were from all the corners of the globe from new york dusseldorf Köln, kiev uh, it was an amazing experience so the second day of the tour uh, was all about watercolor in urban sketching and let me take you to this location just look at it, Paris at 9 a.m. in the morning. This is amazing, April. And this is our location, Pont des Arts, the bridge of the arts. And our special guest for this day was Alex Hilkors. He's an amazing watercolor artist. He lives in Paris. So it's, it's a very quick... You can add a little bit of the, the red into your blue, and that tips it into kind of a lavender. While it's wet, wow. right? it's sort of these different random brush strokes, and then come in and, uh, and maybe soften some of the edges. Have it run down the page. Um, you can flick some. Really, that means the sky. The sky is usually the lightest part mm -hmm. of the. So as you can imagine, it was such a wonderful day, full of creativity and inspiration. So we felt like uh, Parisians that day because even French people, they were passing by and calling us les artistes, like artists, the artists. <laughs> so we didn't feel ourselves as tourists. We felt ourselves like, like a real, real Parisians for that day. So we got immersed in this atmosphere of the city. We were enjoying ourselves, um, learning new techniques from Alex. Alex really shared so much secrets, his personal secrets of watercolor technique. So it was an amazing day. And as you can imagine, it's so great for artists for artists to have these plein air drawings. At the end of this day, we checked all our drawings. We had a like a final look at all of them, and we saw our problems. Yeah, right. It's the <laughs> yeah. colors of Amsterdam. So after that plein air session, we had a nice guided tour and even visited Alex's studio, which is located on the Mansardes of Paris, with a great view over Paris. Where, where have you been? I think it's here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. These shadows, mm -hmm. and then that has to dry, and then I can do the, the details. So, um, what else? The most famous, one of the most famous <laughs> ones. Yeah. <laughs> this view, oh, <laughs> just wow. out the window, so, that I like as well. Light and shadow. The, kind of the blue fading into the white, pour them up, yeah. and then I have all these different... It was such a great experience to have Alex as our special guest. As you can see, he's super friendly, he shares his knowledge, he's super hospitable, so it was a wonderful, wonderful day. And it's so interesting because we ended up with uh, this day in this exact Café La Cassette, which you can see on the drawings. They have one great onion soup. Also, we visited this art supply shop where Degas bought his 
pastels, uh, this arrondissement uh, of the uh, Paris, of Paris, this era, it's super very artistic. There are lots of art galleries and art supply shops and uh, cafes like this La Palette where great artists used to sit. This is a studio and museum of the Jeanne de la Croix. So it's really a great location. There are lots of old churches like this, Saint Germain, uh, also Saint Sulpice. And it's a great, these are great subjects for urban sketching and in total Parisian architecture, Parisian facades are instantly inspiring me to take my pencil and start drawing. All right, on to the third day of our sketch tour. We started it with a great picnic uh, in Jardin de Luxembourg. We took croissants, fresh baguettes, uh, foie gras, pears, um, blueberries. It was such a wonderful morning and we spent uh, an entire day in this uh, Luxembourg garden, uh, understanding perspective. I covered basics of one and two point perspective um, so participants did this sketch so we understood proportions of this palace and did several drawings from different locations and viewpoints like this one for example all right and the final and fourth day of my sketch tour we uh, started in Café de Fleur uh, by drawing these wonderful interiors by the way this entire day the fourth day was all about drawing interiors and uh, like little objects like for example these cups um, these are very famous cups from Café de Fleur so first, as a warm-up for that day, we ordered coffee and we did this like, still little still life uh, study. We did these drawings of these cups and all these little nice objects. And it was really great to prepare ourselves for a like, bigger picture and for the second part of the day, which we spent in uh, a very old gallery for Sash in Paris. This is the perfect location to master one point perspective, as you can imagine. And at that, at the end of the day, we also checked all our drawings and we finished that sketch tour once again in a restaurant. Like a perfect way to finish sketch tour is like sit and chill in a restaurant. And at the very end of this video, please let me show you this workbook which I covered it it was basically my demonstration drawings uh, like a very drum drawings where I explained some concepts before starting to draw like a real <laughs> sketch so these are more like schemes demos as you can see here I explained frontal view perspective and one and two point perspective basics so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and check my other video on Parisian sketch also please follow me on instagram olgaard888 because i will post the all the information about my upcoming sketch tours and of course i can't wait to see you uh, in my next sketch tour in europe or maybe in states also visit my website olgaard888.com to get even more inspiration and uh, learn more about my video courses and uh, get all the information about my upcoming sketch tours. Thanks so much and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.